Here's a quick video explaining the difference between uh, Mortal Kombat 3 and uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, over here I have a Mortal Kombat 3. All right, and here's an Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. All right, they use the same board, the same hardware. It's called the Wolf Unit from uh, Midway. Uh, there's uh, some slight differences, and, uh, and I'll explain how to change them back and forth. All right, the first thing, the things that are interchangeable, this U122 all the way up to this U133. These three rows of ROMs here are the same for both boards. They're interchangeable. I can switch these out and it won't affect the gameplay at all. So these three ROMs, those 12 ROMs from U122 to U133, they're interchangeable. All right, to change them back and forth, uh, the things you need for this is a Mortal Kombat 3, not Ultimate. You get the security chip is probably the biggest thing. Uh, they're difficult to find the regular Mortal Kombat 3s. Uh, they're, they're out there, they're a little expensive, but probably about $30 a chip, but you could find them. Uh, here's a Mortal Kombat 3. You're going to have to change it out to whatever board you want. You also have to have U54 and U63. These two ROMs have to be specific to the board you want. So these are specific for MK3, not Ultimate. Additionally, these four sound ROMs, one, two, it, these are it's U2, U3, U4, and U5, they have to be changed out. These are specific for MK3, whereas these are specific for the ultimate MK3. So you have to change these four sound ROMs out. Again, these three rows exactly the same, they're changeable. Uh, this row right here, which is 118, 119, 120, and 121, you have to burn the specific ROMs for the specific game. Although both use that row. Here's 118, 119, 120, 121. Uh, these are specific for MK3 and these are specific for the ultimate MK3. Now one of the biggest differences you'll see or as you're shopping around you see this UMK3 completely did away with this row of ROMs which is 114, 115, 116, 117. So if you're looking on eBay or wherever you shop and you see this little space here, that means it's uh, ultimate. It's not regular. All right. Whereas you can see here, regular MK3 has 114, 115, 116, 117. They use that set of ROMs. All right. With the ultimate, they added another row that the regular MK3 doesn't have, which is 110, 111, 112, 113. You can see here, 110 is empty, 111, 112, 113. So the regular Mortal Kombat 3 does not use that set of ROMs. So, so in short, if you want to convert these back and forth, you need a security chip for whichever one you want, the specific U54 and U63 for whatever board you want, the four sound ROMs for whichever board you want, these, which is 118, 119, 120, 121 for whichever board you want. If you're doing ultimate, you need the 110, 111, 112, 113, and you don't need this row. If you need uh, the regular MK3, it's 114, 115, 116, 117, and these four ROMs you got to burn for whatever specific board you want. All right, same thing over here, whatever specific board you want. All right. If, uh, feel free to uh, ask any questions. It's probably as easy as I can make it. Uh, it's, uh, not many people want the MK3 anymore unless they're doing that. A uh, multiple switcher just has less characters. Yeah, it's still a fun game to play. Uh, yeah, I have it in my 6-in-1 switcher, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Feel free to ask me any questions.